Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 build video. In this video, I'm going to show you my overpowered necromancer. Actually, overpower is meaning using the overpower and not OP. <laughs> anyway, this is the build that I'm going to stick with. Uh, this is the build I'm going to start my season one because it's wrecks, shreds, destroys, bosses, whatever. Just I'll show you. By the way, I will have the link down in the video description to this build so you can copy the skills, see what aspects I use and other stuff. So you may have noticed that I'm level 47, but I have actually already unlocked world tier 3 with ease. I just run through the entire dungeon. <laughs> it was crazy. I, I was personally shocked because <laughs> uh, it overperformed of my expectations. So what do I love about the build and what are the focuses on this build? Well, first of all is speed, running speed. Because you will need uh, to run around and group up the enemies uh, because we're using blood surge and blood surge that deals a lot more damage when you have a, a tons of enemies next to you. Then of course anything that increases the overpower damage, uh, HP and 45. By the way, HP and 45 also plays uh, a role on the overpower's damage, and HP and 45 also plays a role on your survivability. And since I'm playing on hardcore, I do need uh, ways to survive. And uh, yeah, this build really solved that problem. <laughs> uh, and overpower. So. Uh, using this key passive, uh, well, first of all, increases HP, gives us a little bit more defense, since this is my uh, hardcore character and I will be playing hardcore in Season 1. It's a really nice bonus to survivability, uh, but the number one thing is after being healthy for 12 seconds, your next blood skill overpowers. So every 12 seconds, this guy just shreds everything and i have other things that uh trigger overpower i'll show you when we'll when we will talk about skills but uh let's take a look at a few uh clips on how the overpower works <laughs> By the way, if you didn't know, the overpower damage is that blue numbers that you see when they pop on the screen whenever I damage. That's the overpower damage. And uh, dark orange color is when it's overpower crit. By the way, I will share with you one video uh, which explains the overpower mechanics. Like, that's like the best video I found, so I don't have to go into a lot of details. So if you want to take a look at it, it's down in the video description. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> now let's take a look on the two boss fights. So when you're doing the dungeon to qualify to World Tier 3, there's going to be two bosses. So let's take a look at those fights. Now the second boss is more tankier so I wasn't able to kill it like super fast but if you pay attention to my health you can see that I'm always healthy like he has never been able to kind of like uh, take my health out. <laughs> That's uh, thanks to all the defensive perks that I've played you know since I'm playing on hardcore you need that defense man. By the way, I'm going to speed up that boss fight because uh, I fought with him for 1 minute and 30 seconds and to shorten the video, I made it like 3 times the speed. <laughs>
Not bad, huh? <laughs> All right, and final clip to show you the build in action. We're gonna do an event on World Tier Three when the enemies are six levels above my level. So check this out. By the way, the fight's gonna last for one minute, just so you know. Alright, so let's begin with the build explanation. Uh, so, Book of the Dead, I've sacrificed my Skeleton Warriors, Defenders, and Skeleton Mages, Bone Mages. So, Skeleton Warriors are uh, decided to sacrifice in order to get that non-physical resistance. So, as far as I understand, it's resistance to everything, but not like direct damage. So, poison, shadow, ice, whatever, all of that goes into non-physical resistance. I believe so, <laughs> and to what I've read and found out. Anyway, uh, the actual sacrifice percent is a little bit less, but I have two things that are increasing that percentage, and that would be the legendary aspect. This one right here that I've placed on my amulet, your sacrifice bonuses are increased by 23%. And this passive right here, uh, Memento Mori, uh, sacrificing both skeleton warriors and skeleton mages, increase their sacrifice bonus by 60%. And my skeleton mages have sacrificed in order to boost my overpower damage. So your overpower damage is increased by 49%, but you can no longer raise the skeleton mages. And I do use a blood golem. <laughs> a blood golem with uh, this perk right here. Your blood golem absorbs 15% of damage you take. You would take. It's actually, it's it's doesn't look good but in reality is really really good like I've played with minion uh, summoner build and my golem always had his HP always like no matter what ha who hit him he uh, he's like tanky as AF <laughs> uh, but not in this case because if I get a damage from one unit he takes that 15% if I get damaged by three units he takes one two three and he's, his HP is actually going down so I need to do something in order to boost his HP a little bit but thanks to blood orbs and one of my passives that I am able to heal my golem so that's actually pretty cool uh, so this guy is uh, really helping me in my survivability Alright, and do remember that you have the link to my build that you can copy all the skills and stuff like that, view, gear, uh, aspects uh, down in the video description. But let's go. So for the basics, uh, I use uh, Hammer H. I think I mispronounced that. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff, so I do have that uh, in mind. I do have only one point in here, and mo and for the updates, this is the most important one. So it fortifies me, which is. I need the fortification and I need that HP in order to survive and deal more overpower damage. Uh, now for the basic skill I barely use it because it's not my main essence uh, generator. My main essence generator would be uh, this thing right here, well we'll get to it right. So for the core, I am using blood search, so blood search is, uh, I really love this uh, core skill, it's just crazy. <laughs> so draw blood from the enemies dealing damage and expel a blood nova dealing damage right uh, blood nova's uh, damage is increased by 10 percent per enemy drained up to 50 percent so basically if you group up five minions or whatever enemies uh, you can trigger your uh, core skill and it will benefit uh, that extra damage but i try to group up as many as i can because they all get just annihilated as you saw in the video clips then for the upgrades i've got uh, the 
enhance the blood surge so basically this heals me blood surge heal you for 2.5% uh, off your maximum life when drawing blood from the enemies if four or more enemies are drawn from then th the heal for the additional 2.5 so basically 5% so that's why I group up the enemies and uh, this is my additional uh, overpower trigger so if an enemy is damaged by overpower surge nova while you are healthy this is why I need to stay healthy all the time so I can get these stacks and slam that overpower so when you're healthy then gain one stack overwhelming blood when you have five stacks uh, overwhelming blood your next blood surge overpowers so uh, now I have two overpower triggers this thing right here and my key passive right here which basically every 12 seconds I uh, my next uh, skill overpowers right so I need to kind of like always take a look at my meter uh, and make sure to use my blood search when I see that 12 number if you take a look on my uh, where you can see the level above you have these uh, two icons the hand in red and then the next icon has 12 that means if I use my blood search now it will overpower all right so the next I got some uh, passives here uh, for essence uh, one it's kind of useless but just three and doesn't even go over like what the hell is three essence man absolutely nothing like Blood Nova cost me 25 per cast. Uh, okay, and this thing I've uh, taken for extra damage. So your core skill costs 9% more essence, but deal 15% increased damage. I do has, have some affixes on my gear to reduce uh, the amount of essence per cast, but we'll talk about it when we get to the gear part. And the other one is uh, Lucky Hit. So your damage has up to 12% chance to create a corpse at the target's location. This chance is doubled against bosses. I need those corpses. <laughs> I'll explain to you why now. <laughs> so essentially this thing is very useful when you're fighting uh, bosses 1v1. But, but, I did start using corpse explosion and I've upgraded them to the black corpse explosion. So basically it kind of leaves an area and it keeps damaging the enemies and this is really nice well first of all I use this as my main essence uh, generator so with combination of this thing right here when I consume courses I get six essence and I uh, using this thing right here it kind of creates that uh, pool of death <laughs> let's call it that way <laughs> uh, it deals over time damage for six seconds and Using this beautiful aspect, you gain 0.25% increased armor for 4 seconds when you heal, uh, when you deal any form of damage, stacking up to 25%. So, it's just amazing. And that thing actually works. <laughs> With my course explosion I get not only defense but I'm also using a combo uh, legendary aspect. Consuming a corpse has a 28% chance to spawn blood orb. Which blood orbs they heal me so it's really nice. Alright let's continue. Now blood mist is also in the same kind of category and this is my uh, get the hell out of there situation right. So I do use it with a modifier uh, leaves a corpse every one second but maybe I'm considering to get rid of these two and put them elsewhere but at the moment I'm using it this way and final point I've placed and fueled by death and I will upgrade this if I'll have enough points to its maximum my priority are these two at the moment and we're get gonna get there in a second so yeah let's move on so from curse skills I don't use any curses although with my minion builds I just love using these two curses it's just amazing uh, but the problem was defense, right? So that's why I kind of decided to move away from the summoner build into uh, this build right here, which is actually working out pretty well. I might gonna work a little bit more on the summoner build a little bit later on uh, with his defense perks. But anyway, so uh, death embrace, close enemies take six percent more damage from you, and you deal nine percent less damage. Uh, and they deal less damage, so that's not very nice. And death reach, you deal 12% increased damage to distant enemies. With the blood surge, it deals uh, close and uh, distant enemies. Because the radius of that thing, is, especially with, when it overpowers, is just huge. It's, it, it's literally being damaging enemies away from my screen. Like, I couldn't even see them, but when I run, they're dead. <laughs> Alright, next. 
So, uh, we got these passives. I took in the blood passives. So, while, while below 50 life, you receive 20% more healing from all sources. And I want to put one more point to kind of maximize all that thing. Uh, then while healthy, another reason why I need to stay healthy all the time is blood skills deal uh, more damage when you're healthy. So in my case it's 18%. Then we got an additional way of fortifying lucky hit. Hitting enemies with blood skills uh, has up to 25% chance to fortify you for 8% base life. Uh, then we got the tides of blood. Uh, your blood skills deal 15% increased overpower damage. This bonus is double if you're healthy. This is why my character needs to be healthy at all times. I will. I do also want to put more points into transfusion. Transfusion is by collecting the uh, blood orbs. Uh, you get to heal your minions because I need to keep my golem alive so I can benefit from that defensive uh, perk that he has, taking 15% uh, damage whenever I take damage. So uh, let's move on. So for the ultimate. I use the blood wave and uh, conjure a tidal wave of blood that deals X amount of damage uh, and knock backs the enemy. Really, really nice. I, I honestly undervalued this uh, ultimate before, but in reality, it's super cool if you combine it with this legendary effect. Blood wave fires two additional waves, each dealing 54% less damage than the previous but it's uh, always knocks them out knocks them out so you can three, see three waves <laughs> it's crazy and this kind of helps me to kind of group up and get my positioning and use my blood surge but in reality it is just crazy also what it, it slows down uh, slows down the enemies by 50% for four, uh, seconds and also spawns three blood orbs I haven't actually paid attention if each wave leaves uh, three blood orbs. I think it does, because usually when I run where the waves end, uh, that place is just filled with blood orbs, right? And blood orbs rule. Uh, but with my level 50 uh, and on, I, I do have a couple of things I want to do with those blood orbs, but it's really, really nice. Uh, especially it will work with two uniques that I have in my head, which I'll talk over once I'll be creating build level 50, 70, or 70, 100 whatever all right so that was the ultimate i really undervalued this ultimate gotta be honest man but it's actually really cool then we have uh, a few passives uh standalone increased damage reduction by 18 percent right reduced by two percent for each active minion so since i have a one golem active i get a uh, minus two percent and obviously uh, Mento Mori that I already mentioned, sacrificing both skeleton warriors and mages increases your sacrifice bonus. For key passive, I use uh, Rathmas Vigor, so it gives me that extra 10% of HP, right? Right. And uh, after being healthy for 12 seconds, your next blood skill overpowers. Oof. Alright, so let's talk about the gear and the aspects. Some of these I've already covered, but let's begin. So, uh, before we talk about the aspects, the affixes, I focus mainly on overpower damage, obviously. Uh, crit chance, crit damage, uh, that's for the damage ones. I do also focus on stats, uh, primarily on willpower. Willpower gives extra essence as far as I understand. So, uh, and intelligence, obviously. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, 45 if possible HP. That's another thing. So whenever I see HP, I try to grab it and damage. But this is 150, so uh, like it's it's a bunch of mix-ups. But HP, 45 damage for overpower and stats. That's my top priority. Life on kill is also very nice. So uh, for the head, I have you heal 16 life per second for each close enemy up to 69 life per second. Uh, once again, when you jump and dive in into the enemies, you, you got your barrier, you got your 45, but this also helps to keep my character uh, healthy. Because when I'm healthy, I deal even more damage uh, with all those triggers that I already explained. Uh, armor consuming corpse has a 28% chance to spawn a uh, blood orb I already explained blood orbs keep me alive healthy and keep my golem alive so really nice uh, not the best 
affixes here. <laughs> this this armor came from my uh, previous uh, level 65 summoning necro who died. <laughs> Rest in peace. Okay, uh, these gloves are actually really good. Uh, intelligence, lucky hit chance, lucky hit chance because I have that lucky hit for uh, making corpses and lucky hit for 45, so that increases. This thing increases that chance. Uh, blood surge, overpower damage as you can see, and basic skills uh, gain 15 attack speed. So, you know, he swings that blood faster, I get my essence faster. This is useful when I'm boss fighting. Uh, for the pants, I have damaging an elite uh, enemy grants you a barrier, right? Uh, for a barrier for 690, not the best barrier. Obviously, damage uh, for 10 seconds. This can affect only. This can happen only every 30 seconds. For the boots, uh, also I'm trying to find a good combo over here, but I have for this case this specific one becoming injured. Uh, while crowd control grants you unstoppable four seconds. This happens every 32 seconds with my current build I've never ended up Triggering this thing because I've been always healthy It's like it's a very rare case scenario that I would get injured and I would get crowd controlled while injured So this, this thing doesn't play a big role at the moment <laughs> Uh, but I do believe that I'm gonna be using this on higher levels because on higher levels this thing will could save you from being frozen and being smashed on the head. <laughs> Alright, uh, skills deal up to 10% increased damage based on your available primary resource. So, like right now, I have full resource. If I cast, I benefit that 10%. It's not the best. I'm still looking for a replacement. Then your sacrifices are increased by 23%. I already talked over that. Blood Surge Nova Echoes again after a short delay, dealing 70% less damage. So, whenever I use my Blood Surge, uh, after a millisecond a second another blood surge happens and that's the ring uh, and dealing a little bit less damage but I also kind of noticed that it also benefits from the uh, 12 second overpower so if my first wave overpowers then the echo also overpowers uh, blood wave fires two additional which I already explained and this thing I have already explained Alright, so I believe this is it. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you didn't, you know the drill. Don't forget to smash that like and comment down below. Oh, uh, by the way, do leave your comments because I do read them. And if you're playing the same build but you have something different, uh, could you share what you're doing and why do you prefer it that way? Uh, obviously, if you have questions, suggestions, uh, always open. I mean, it's really cool to read your comments. And I believe other people also find your comments useful when they're reading stuff, you know kind of like we could build the entire build together because I'm still working on this <laughs> still need to get this guy to 100 and, uh, I will make the video saying overpower build final <laughs> all right but it is what it is uh, and you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at and I'll see you on the next video bye